Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to talk about two problems that we got from Illinois qualifying exam for integration B from 2019. For the first problem, we have integral of 1 over x to the power of 1729 plus x dx. And for the second problem, we have a fraction and for the denominator, we have x to the power of minus 7 over 12. And for the denominator, we have the third root of x plus the fourth root of x. And then we have dx. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about these two problems. First, we are going to focus on the first problem. To solve this, we are going to do something interesting here. Instead of factoring x from the denominator, we are going to factor out x to the power of 1729. If we do it, then we will have integral of 1 over x to the power of 1729 times 1 plus 1 over x to the power of 1728, and then we will have dx. From here, we are going to use a new variable for 1 plus 1 over x to the power of 1728. Let's use t for it. Then if we get derivative from both sides, we will have negative 1728 over x to the power of 1729 dx is equal to dt. Since we have dx in the integral, we are going to just rearrange the equation and find what we have for dx. If we do it, then we will have dx over x to the power of 1729 is equal to negative dt over 1728. Based on what we got, we can simplify the integral and write it as negative 1 over 1728 integral of 1 over t dt. From here, everything is very simple. We can simplify and find the final answer as negative 1 over 1728 ln of absolute value of 1 plus 1 over x to the power of 1728 plus a constant c. And that's our final answer. Now let's focus on the second problem. For the second problem, we are going to start with using x to the power of 1 over 12 as t. If we do it, then we can say t to the power of negative 7 is going to be x to the power of minus 7 over 12. On the other hand, x is going to be t to the power of 12. Third root of x is going to be t to the power of 4. And fourth root of x is going to be t to the power of 3. We also have dx is equal to 12 t to the power of 11 dt. Now let's use whatever we got and replace them in the initial integral that we have. We are going to end up with 12 integral of t to the power of 11 times t to the power of negative 7 over t to the power of 4 plus t to the power of 3 dt. Let's simplify the equation first. We have t to the power of 11 times t to the power of negative 7. We are going to replace that with t to the power of 4. At the end, we have 12 integral of t to the power of 4 dt over t to the power of 4 plus t to the power of 3. Now we are going to remove t to the power of 3 from top and bottom of this fraction. And now we have 12 integral of t dt over t plus 1. To solve this, we are going to add 1 and then subtract 1 from the top of this fraction. And then we will divide it into two integrals. The first one is going to be integral of dt and the second one is going to be integral of dt over t plus 1. And we need to multiply both integrals by 12. 12 integral of dt is going to be 12t. And 12 integral of dt over t plus 1 is going to be 12 ln of absolute value of t plus 1. And obviously we need to add this constant c. Now if we replace t with x to the power of 12, then the final answer is going to be 12 x to the power of 12 minus 12 ln of 
1 plus x to the power of 12 plus constant c. Remember, here we remove the absolute value because x to the power of 12 plus 1 is going to be positive. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles and math involved activities, please subscribe to the channel.